All right, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, write an equation of a line parallel to the given, or not parallel, we're gonna do perpendicular, excuse me, perpendicular to the given line, all right? So uh, let me just highlight something real quick here. So here is the line that is given to us, all right? That line is in standard form. Some of you remember standard form, it's called ax plus by equals c. Um, we're gonna write a new equation that is perpendicular to that one right there, all right? Um, we know a little bit about perpendicular lines right now. We know their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Uh, so we need to figure out what the slope of this line right here is, okay? So we're not even gonna write our own equation yet. We're first gonna manipulate the equation given to us and put it in slope intercept form because we wanna know what the slope is, all right? So let's go ahead and do that to start. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my equation here. I'm going to do all my work in this problem in red. And the very first thing I need to do, I'm going to, actually, I want to make this a little bit smaller here. Let's go to uh, 24 font. All right, let's try that again. What I want to do is I want to get the Y all by itself. This is not new information that I'm showing you guys. Uh, I'm going to take and I'm going to add 2X to the left side of the equation. I'm just going to line it up right underneath there. And whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add 2X to the side. All right. And let's uh, move it right there, okay? So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm adding 2x to both sides of the equation, all right? Let me grab a quick uh, line here. Black's fine color. We'll just cross those off. Negative 2x and positive 2x cancel off, right? I, I think that makes sense to you. Let's go ahead and rewrite what we have. On the left side, and again, all my work's going to be in red right here. On the left side of the equation, we have 3y still. You know, we got rid of the negative 2x. On the left side now, we have a 2x and a positive 7. Don't combine those together. Don't make them um, 11x, or excuse me, 9x. Uh, don't do that, all right? They're not like terms, we can't do that. Write your 2x first, write your plus seven second, all right? Now, the next thing that we can do is we can actually you know, divide both sides of the equation by the same number, because again, we're trying to get the y all by itself, all right? And let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'll just do my work here, and I'm just gonna divide both sides of this equation by three. All right, I'm just going to move this guy up a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. And let me just grab, uh, grab a quick shape line here. Black line's fine. We're going to cross those off. The threes cancel off, all right? So we're left over with Y all by itself, all right? Which is good. We like the look of that. Now, if you remember in class, we, we talked quite a bit about um, uh, when we did these problems earlier this year, we talked quite about a, a bit about rewriting it in slope-intercept form. I just drew, drew two little arrows from the three to the two X and to the seven we need to divide both the 2x and the 7 by 3. And then we'll have the equation in slope-intercept form. I'm going to go ahead and write that final answer in blue right here. So here's what the equation should be. y is equal to 2 over 3. And we're going to put our x. And then our y-intercept is actually it's not a very friendly number. It looks like it's 7 over 3. But we don't really care about that that much because we're really just doing this to figure out what the slope is. Okay, So we're not done with this problem. What we have done is we have rewritten the equation that was given to us in slope-intercept form, all right? And the reason we did that is we had to discover what the slope is, all right? Um, so you know what I want to do real quick, though? I want to grab my highlighter, and I'm going to go with my pink highlighter again, and I'm going to highlight this whole equation right here just so we know that the pink equations are the same, all right? I know they don't look the same, but they are the same because we just manipulated it, okay? So we're gonna now try to write our own equation here that is perpendicular, which means crosses at a 90 degree angle, and it goes through the point three, five, all right? So what I wanna do uh, is I wanna grab, um, I'm just gonna grab, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some triangles just for fun. I'm gonna grab a triangle here. Let's go with a, um, I don't know, let's go with a purple. No, let's go with a, let's go with a gray triangle here. So I'm gonna grab a gray triangle and I'm gonna put it around that point right there. And then I'm gonna grab a gray triangle and I'm gonna put it around, oops, that wasn't good. Let's try it one more time. Gray triangle. Oh man, try to get it better. Here we go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put it around the important information. So we are gonna use the point and the slope of the line that we've just discovered to write our perpendicular equation. All right, so very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna put in my work here. So this is where we're gonna put our work for our actual equation we're trying to write. I'm gonna write m is equal to negative three over two. 
All right. Now let's talk about why I'm, I know that that's the slope of my perpendicular line. I want you to compare the two thirds to the negative three halves. Remember, perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. Two over three is the opposite reciprocal of negative three over two. So we know our equation is going to use that slope right there. That's going to be our important number. So we, we, we knew that this was the slope of the line that we had. We have to write an equation perpendicular to this one, this, this pink one here. So we change the slope to the opposite reciprocal. All right. Now let's go ahead and write down what we currently know. All right. So we're all, we, we have a good start to our equation here. And again, I'm going to do the equation. I'm going to do my final equation in, um, uh, well, let's go with blue right here. So this is what my final equation is going to be. It's going to be this right here. We're going to have our slope of negative three over two. We're going to put an X and we're going to put a B. Okay. So that's our equation right there. We need to find the B, the Y intercept still. That's where this point comes into play, this 3, 5. Our line has to go through 3, 5, and it has to have this slope here. So let's go ahead and put those numbers in. So I'm going to do my work, continue to do my work in red right here. So I'm just going to go below this. And for the Y, instead of writing Y, I'm going to put a 5 in for that. And I'm going to rewrite my slope of negative 3 over 2. And instead of writing X, I'm going to put a 3 in for that. And I'm going to put my plus B. All right, so that's what we kind of have here. Now, again, where did I get the three and the five from? Let me just grab my highlighter real quick. We'll go with this baby blue color here. You know, the three and the five were right there. I put them in right there for X and Y. All right, that's where they came from. Now, the cool thing is, is we can solve this equation to figure out what our Y intercept is. And that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and simplify this up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and write an equation in here. So we have the equation five is equal to, uh, let's combine negative three over two times three. Now that's a little tricky. Um, you, may, you might wanna use a calculator for that, but it's, it ends up being negative nine over two, which we might wanna simplify that to negative 4.5, all right? And then I'm gonna put my plus B after that. Um, so again, grab your calculator, type in negative three over two, um, which is negative 1.5 and multiply that by three, we get negative nine over two, which is the same as negative 4.5, all right? Uh, so the only other thing we'd have to do with this is we would wanna add 4.5 to both sides, all right? So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna add 4.5 to one side, come over here to the other side, add 4.5 to this side, all right? And I'm just gonna grab a line to just cross off the ones that look the same there. Let's see here, draw that line, we'll make it black here, cross those off, gone. All right, negative 4.5 and positive 4.5 cancel off. We have plus B by itself, which is the same as B. 5 plus 4.5 is 9.5. Um, and just to keep it in, um, in a fraction format, I'm just going to write this as plus 9 and 1 half. I actually have to put the 1 half in first and then go put my 9 in front. And that's our answer right there. Let me put a quick circle around that. And we'll go with a gray circle here. This is our final answer. So what we did, okay, to review we wrote an equation that was perpendicular to the given equation. So the one I have circled in gray right here is perpendicular to the pink equations because the pink equations are the same, right? They're just rewritten a little differently. So this equation is perpendicular to the pink one. The gray circled one is perpendicular to that. The other thing the gray circle is, is it's a line that goes right through the point three, five. So that is what we need to do with this problem. It's a little tricky. You, so essentially what you need to do first, find the slope. That's what we did over here on the left side. We found the slope. If it's perpendicular, change it to the opposite reciprocal. And then go ahead and use your point to figure out your y-intercept. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps.